Hello everyone, this is Chandana from Department of Electronics. So in the first session we discussed about the syllabus what we are going to study in our uh, second year electronics. So today this is the first session of uh, the field effect transistor. So let us see the introduction of field effect transistor that is FET in short. So what is this FET? FET is nothing but a unipolar device, unipolar solid state device in which current can be controlled by the electric field. So, FET is nothing but a unipolar solid state device in which the current can be controlled by the electric field that itself is FET. This FET can be classified broadly into two types. One is the JFET, the other one is MOSFET. So, let us uh, try to understand the structure of this classification of the FET. So, this FET is bra uh, broadly classified into two types. One is JFET which is called as junction field effect transistor. The other one is MOSFET that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It is also called as insulated gate field effect transistor. This JFET again can be classified into two types. One is the N channel JFET, the other one is P channel JFET. And this MOSFET can be again classified into two types. One is the depletion type MOSFET and secondly the enhancement type MOSFET. And each these depletion and enhancement can be further classified into N type and P type. And even this enhancement type can be classified into N type and P type. So, this is the classification of our uh, FET. FET is broadly classified into two types. One is JFET, the other one is MOSFET. JFET is classified into N channel and P channel. MOSFET is broadly classified into depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET, which is further classified into N channel and P channel. So, here we are going to uh, see the mainly focus on this JFET that is junction field effect transistor. It is working as well as like uh, applications all those things we are going to cover in this particular chapter. Now let us try to understand the difference between FET and BJT. BJT in the sense bipolar junction transistor which we had already studied in our first year. So this FET this is a voltage controlled device whereas this is a current controlled device. Voltage controlled device and output current can be controlled by varying the input voltage. Current controlled device in the sense output current can be controlled by varying the input current. This is the first difference. Second difference is this FET is a unipolar device whereas this is a bipolar device. What is this unipolar and bipolar device? Unipolar device in the sense the current conduction is mainly due to the majority charge carriers that can either be an electron or a hole only the majority charge carriers. And here in the, uh, in the bipolar junction transistor the bipolar word tells that the current conduction is due to both majority as well as minority charge carriers. Here only the majority charge carriers are responsible for the current conduction. Here in the BJT both majority charge carriers as well as minority charge carriers are responsible for the current conduction. Coming to the third difference between FET and BJT here in this FET. FET are of two types that is N channel and P channel here BJT or the transistors are of two types again it is called as NPN transistor and PNP transistor. These are the major differences what we are going to see in this uh, uh, FET as well as BJT. There are some common factors also in between these two terms that is both are three terminal devices and to having two junctions. Both are three terminal devices in the sense in BJT we are having three terminals emitter, base and the collector. For the FET also we are having three terminals and it is called as source, drain and gate and again both will be having only two 
junctions that is 2 pn junctions and there is uh, some other differences also this is less noisy whereas this comparatively it is more noisy these are some of the differences or the comparison between FET and BJT. So, this is the classification and this is the comparison between FET and BJT. So, coming to next coming to the structure of JFET or the structure of FET. So, now let us see the construction of a JFET or the structure of JFET. So, here I will be having an N type base upon which p type semiconductors will be deposited this is the n channel and i will be having three terminals one will be called as the source the other will be called as the drain and the two p type semiconductors will be connected internally to make a common point which is called as a gate terminal this is n channel JFET. Coming to P channel JFET, here the base will be the P type and at the ends we will be having two N channels and here this is the source, this is the drain and these N channels will be connected internally to give a common point what is called as gate and this is the P channel JFET. So, why this is called as an N channel JFET and why this is called as a P channel JFET in the sense we will be seeing a channel like structure through which the charge carriers will be flowing. So, here this N type is the channel through which the charge carriers will be flowing from one terminal to the, to the other terminal. So, this is called as the N channel and here again this P is the channel through which the charge carriers will be flowing. The charge carriers in the sense that can either be the electrons or the holes that will be flowing from one terminal to the other terminal. So, it is called as P channel. So, this FETs will be having three terminals. One is called as the source, drain and gate. Again, uh, this is the P channel which is having uh, three terminals source, drain and the gate. Coming to the symbolic representation of this N channel JFET and P channel JFET, the symbol is like this. This is for N channel, this is the gate terminal, this is the source and this is the drain. This is N channel. And coming to the P channel JFET, this is the gate terminal, source and the drain. This is for P channel JFET. So, in N channel JFET, the arrow mark will be pointing towards the vertical line. Whereas in P channel, the arrow mark will be pointing away from the vertical line. This vertical line represents the channel. Here, N channel, in the N channel, the arrow mark will be uh, approaching towards the channel, that is towards the vertical line. In the P channel, the arrow mark will be approaching away from the uh, vertical line. So, what is this source drain and the gate in the sense? Source is nothing but a terminal which provides the charge carriers which gives the charge carriers whereas drain is nothing but a terminal which collects the charge carriers source the name itself is specifying it provides or it gives the charge carriers that kind that can either be the electrons or the holes one of the charge carriers not the both only uh, electrons or the holes will be moving. So, this source is nothing but a terminal which gives the charge carriers and drain is nothing but a terminal which collects the charge carriers and this gate is a terminal which controls the flow of charge carriers. If simple like one example here or the other, Manenali, for every building there will be a gate. If the gate is opened to a larger extent or if the gate is opened very wide, then the number of people getting into the gate will be more. The people can be considered 
as the charge carriers. If the gate is opened in a narrow way, narrow on the other open the number of uh, people getting through the gate will be very very less. Similarly, if the gate is opened very very wide, the number of charge carriers can flow, the number of charge carriers which are flowing will be more. If the gate terminal is not open, then the charge carriers cannot flow. So these are the three terminals that is the source, gate and the drain. Source will provide the charge carriers, drain will collect the charge carriers and the gate will control or uh, will uh, have the con entire control on the flow of the charge carriers. So this is all about the structure and the symbol of the JFET. So let's stop this session in this stage. In the next sessions, I'll be coming with the construct deplete, the formation of depletion uh, layer in the JFET, along with that, the working of JFET. So this is the end of this first session. I'll be coming soon with the next session. Until then, take care. Bye bye.